a good one for you since we're in Texas and we like our trucks. Got a call yesterday. Got a bunch of emails and, and, and text messages with pictures and what have you. Guy has been hired to clean out this land for the owners. Uh, I guess maybe the owners passed away. Okay. Uh, and the family sell the land. And uh, supposedly in the barn since 1992 is a uh, 1974 Ford Super Cab, which 74 is the first year of the Super Cab. Right. Yeah. Wow. Fully loaded XLT F150, not a 250. Right. And uh, it's that crazy burnt orange color okay. with the with the orange and plaid interior, I think. I didn't get much pictures of the interior, but supposedly the truck's like super clean. They're the original owners. Camper's never been off of it since they put it on. That means the bed should be in good shape. Yep, supposed to have no rust. I looked at the pictures as best as I could tell. Uh, you know, the guy wasn't the uh, best uh, photographer on the planet, but he right. did send me a bunch. Uh, it's it's supposed to be original miles at like 60-something thousand. Okay. Um, and just all there, all clean, all good. I said, dude, we will be there in the morning. Here we are. On and the road. here we are, about 37 minutes away. Perfect. But uh, I do like camper shells on trucks in the way that you said. Right. The bed doesn't get beat up because they're not just dropping crap in there. Exactly. But... They also cause stuff to compile up in there and they can get rusty or where it's sitting on the truck it can get all jacked up. Yeah, but it'll destroy the paint and whatnot. So I'm pretty stoked on this one. He gave me a price range of uh, around five grand is what he said. Okay. Which in a way is all right, but I'm going to try to get it at 2500 I think that'd be a killer deal. It'd be a smoking deal. We'd sell it for 7500 and that'll pay for a steak dinner. For sure. Especially for me and my wife. I don't know what you're going to eat. I guess the leftover pizza. <laughs> you almost <laughs> ate that pizza just a minute ago. <laughs> I know. You know, like, it's just a couple of days. I'm like, uh, we bought that last week. Oh, well, that tells you how much sleep I've had. Oh, yeah, that's right. You moved into your new house, man. Yeah. Fucking all you peeps out there watching. Pay attention to this guy. 22 years old. Just bought his first brand new house. Brand freaking new. Super rad. Super excited. I bet. So we just went through uh, all the major cities in Dallas and got to the one that time forgot. Everman hasn't changed, like, at all since I was probably a teenager. Really? Oh, it's so sketchy out here and weird. It's like, like I said, I think there's still dinosaurs out here. There probably is. It looks pretty uh, empty. Well, well except for a look at that, all them cars stuck back there. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. All right, let's see. It's turning two-tenths of a mile. Oh, shit. That is sketch. All right, sir, we're here to look at a truck. What's your name? Uh, James Sweeney. James Sweeney, man. Yes, this okay. is a little sketchy. You're hey, not going to you know? try to, like, kill us and stuff back there, are you? No, sir. All no, right. Sir. Well, you come on back. You go first, man. You're, I'm first. You got, you got less to lose. I'm old. So you told me the name of the owner, and I looked up the plate, and that all matches. It is some overgrown property, man. How many acres are here? It's 25 acres. I mean, we're literally like a mile from the freeway. You'd think this place has been forgotten for the last 100 years. Sure. At least 100 years, yes. There's like a house back here. Yeah, there's a swimming pool right there, and then there's a greenhouse. They grew um, plants. They were, um, uh, they, they were trying to get a nursery going. Oh, okay. I was thinking, they, you know, nowadays when you say plants, we, you don't really know what you're talking about yeah. for sure. How'd you get my number, Mr. Sweeney? Sir, I'm a native Fort Worth person, sir. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've watched every fast and loud and, and you know, everything about, you know, gas monkey garage, other than this in Dallas, it should be in Fort Worth, but uh, I've watched everything about you, sir. <laughs> I know, but how'd you get my number? Oh, uh, I Googled you. Oh, that's great. Come on in. Was this door open? It will, once us uh, three heavy guys move it. Holy cow. Holy moly. Here, here it is. This is some sketchy shit, and I've been in some sketchy shit. Somebody uh, was a uh, collector of stuff. For yeah. sure. There it is. Um, it's got 86,000 miles on it. It's a one truck on it. It's all there, even the manual to it's in there. And, uh, Let's look under the hood. Well, there. that's the only part that's kind of shimmy. I mean, it's all there. Yeah, it looks like a 302. 
Yeah, it is. AC. This is good. It's built in the 50s. Our steering wheel. Our steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah, because it's an XLT. It's a, yeah, range no, it's not an XLT. We got some good fire. I think so. I think it is. Yeah. Hmm? I think it's a Ranger XLT. Yeah, Ranger XLT around the dash. Brand new still, golly, just like a 2021 day gun. That's a cool fucking track. Tailgate looks good. Well, good news is we're still alive. No dance, we got that door scrape, that's yeah. it. That's it. It's clean. It's super clean, I like it. And there's no way to find the the title or the uh, or the keys. Uh, I don't know the keys, but I know the title. Uh, Chase, it's in neutral in the wheel turn, but I wasn't getting any uh, turn on it. It's on a bunch of stuff on the other side too. Yeah, I got it. If we do buy it, this is gonna be fun to get it out of here. Really fun. But it's a clean truck. I like it. I don't think that's gonna bother us. No, I think we can run roll right over all that. And then lose this and this. Just come straight off to the track. But we're just trying to figure out if it's if it's even doable with what we got. I mean I gotta we don't have a long tow rope, do we? I brought a chain. How long? Mm, probably about 15 foot. What does this land look like out here? Because we're going to have to go pretty far, Chase, yep. with that one. I have to go way the fuck back here. Think it's going to want to dig too far? Nah. What will help us is all this brush that we crush will keep us pretty much on the ground. Jesus. It's just I'm going to have to be out here. Going to have to go further than that because we got to go in to get the other one. Right. All right, so we'd have to come back here with just the truck. Yep. No trailer. And then we'd have to yank this out, just leave it out there somewhere. And then it's good that the truck's backwards because we bring it out and then we hook frontwards. And just pull it forward. And just drive it forwards. So what's it going to take to buy it? Because I got one price in mind if I got to pull it out. <laughs> okay, well, the same price is going to be that uh, I need my Magnum fix. I got yeah, I can't, I can't bargain any kind of work on that. I have to just pay for the truck because cool. I, I don't know what might be wrong. I might put myself in a hole there. So, uh, okay, then 6.5. Uh, um, I mean, that's fair. No. Nah. Yeah. No, no, you told me less than that on the phone. Yeah, but see, I, I also also had said uh, and some work on the, uh, the Magnum. Okay, so I was just adding in that other 1500 just so I could, because I got T-bone in my car like uh, five weeks ago, and I've not really been able, I thought I could fix it myself because I, I think I'm somewhat of a shady, true mechanic, but I uh, kind of found out I didn't do it right. You know I, mean? I get it. Um, so, um, okay, um, I take six for it if you drag it out. Where it sits and with me out to drag it out, I'm more like 3500 because it's going to take me a few hours to do that if I'm lucky and we don't run into any problems. Oh, okay, I mean, that's, that's, that's fair. I mean, all right. I mean, I can't get my car worked on by Aaron, so I mean, I take 3,500. I mean, well, Aaron don't work for me, you'd have to talk to him. I mean, I'm just <laughs> saying, you know. <laughs> all right, well then, let's start dragging it out. As, much, as long as I can get it out of here, I'll give you 3,500. Okay. Okay, show us back. how to get back to the truck. All right. All right, well, we kind of got a deal on the truck, but I'd have to talk to uh, Mr. Bacchus um, before I go do all that work and drag it out because that's a lot of work, and uh, I trust you at your word, but you and I don't know each other, so, so I don't want to drag it all out and do all that and have a problem or be halfway through it and have a problem. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. How do I talk to him? Uh, well, I mean, you talk to me, and uh, he done said, he done told me. 
get rid of what's any value there, get rid of it. Then let me know, we'll get all the heavy equipment in here, and we're gonna tear the place down. So, yeah, I get it, but I gotta have him tell me that, that it's okay. Okay, well, I got all the um, legal, I mean, I, I have everything that uh, I can show you this vehicle. I mean, there's, what do you got? I got my driver's off. Yeah, but the the, the truck's still registered uh, to uh, okay. Mr. Bacchus. I'm, okay, okay, I know, I know, okay. I'm claiming the truck, okay, it's my truck, and I'm selling it to you, okay? So, I'm working here on, on, on the property pretty much for, you know, uh, what I can get, and so, he just wants to sell the property. I mean, I just need to know that I have the legal right to take the truck. You do have legal right to take the truck. But I gotta know that from at least the son of the owner, because I did the research on the tags, and it all matches to this address, to the family of Bacchus. I just need to talk to the guy that owns this property now and say, is everything cool? Can I go drag that thing out? Mm. I'm, saying, I'm telling you, it is cool. Okay, I, okay, I can't take okay, your word okay, at okay, it. Okay, then it's not, it's, 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 I, I had a good time with you then. All okay? right, my man. All right. I appreciate it, dude. Yes, sir. You have a good one. Well, there you go. I mean, super cool truck. I followed up on the lead, but this property belongs to somebody else, not that guy. The truck belongs to somebody else, not that guy. Now, the name on the land and the title and the deed is Bacchus, and it is uh, registered to uh, a Mr. Richard Bacchus, and there is a son. I know all those people exist. I just don't have any proof as to who that guy is or whatever. So without that, it'd be pretty sketchy. It'd be called stealing. So we, we know where a badass truck is. We just didn't get it bought, not yet. I ain't through with my investigatory uh, side of me. I gotta find the owner. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that guy's back in there. Uh, a lot of that, I guess, trash and stuff was not as old as he was saying it was. Right. And uh, it even smelled and looked like they might have been having fires to keep warm. Right. You know. So, you know, you you want to trust everybody, but you can't always do that. He had the right names, but he could have just got in the house and found some things, some old mail or something like that with names on it. Right. So I don't know. I wish him luck. I mean, if he pulls it all the way out to the street and he can prove it, he might get more money for it. Yeah. That's, that was sketch though. Yeah, but that was a super nice truck for sure. It was definitely worth it. That truck cleaned up would have brought some serious money. Oh, for sure. So while it was sketchy as hell, it's definitely not the end of the lead because the land is titled to the right person that's titled to the truck. Just may need to find them, see what they say. Right. They say it's cool to do the deal with that guy. I'd go do it, but he sure didn't want to call him. Where it really threw me off is he says that the guy is like only 48 years old. And I'm like, if you're 48 and what have you, then you got a cell phone. I should be able to call you. Right. I got the report. Now, I can't say how I got it, but it does match the address and it's a Richard I. Bacchus. So let's look that up on the internet and see if we got him on uh, Facebooks or Instagrams or any of the interwebs. This is, this is. It says that his current address is in Arlington, but that pre one of the previous addresses is the, the address we were just at. That's the guy we're looking for. 